Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, it's good to see you, everybody. Uh, remember to put your complete name on the on your screen, right? Su nombre completo, como aparece en el DUI. Remember to put that. Okay. All right, let's wait one minute for the people that are logging in, okay? Let's wait one minute. Le voy a mandar un mensaje. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome. All right, let's get ready. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Let me go ahead and take the attendance. If you can, please turn on your camera just for a second. So if you can, please just turn on your camera for a few seconds and then you can turn it off. Okay, remember to log in with your full name. Es decir, poner todo su nombre completo acá en su nombre de pantalla. All right, very good. Uh, let's say Andrea, Juan, Juan Cornejo. I don't know if you can turn on your camera. Okay, very good. So let me just take a screenshot. Capture pantalla, screenshot, and let me go ahead and just save it. Okay, all right, very good. Hello, everybody. This is our second class today. We're, uh, we're looking at the TOEFL test, right? We're looking at the TOEFL test, and yesterday we were looking at the introduction to the test. Me gustaría solo repasar eso rapidito, unos cinco minutos, solo para que sepan qué es el TOEFL. All right, very good. Let me share my computer with you. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Okay, uh, let me see. I want to see if you can see this. Okay, can you see this? Pueden ver esta pantalla donde está el TOEFL IBT test content? All right. Yeah. All right, very good. So just an overview. Uh, this is what we saw yesterday. Remember, que significa TOEFL test of English as a second, as a, as a foreign language? Test of English as a foreign language. All right, so hay tres versiones, ¿se acuerdan? Hay tres versiones del examen, está el T, eh, PBT, que es paper, paper-based, right? papel y lápiz, ese casi ya no se da. Uh, Computer-based test, eso ya es eh, en una computadora, ya con un, una, ¿cómo puedo decir? Ya con el, uh, el software ya aplicado a la, a la computadora. Y está el otro que es IBT, Internet-based test. Okay? The most common test today is the IBT, the Internet-based test. All right, so this is el que probablemente ustedes van a hacer, el IPT. All right, uh, ETS significa eh, uh, eh, testing service. Uh, I forgot the, what it means, but I, I remember that it was testing service. Tiene que algo que ver con el servicio de examen de, de Estados Unidos. Uh, this, is, this university is by Princeton. Princeton University created this test, okay? All right, uh, what are some of the things that you need, right? So esto es lo que vamos a tratar de hacer en esta clase, right? 
Eh, this is going to help you pass the test, right? Yo no, yo, yo no les puedo dar todas las respuestas de todo el examen, right? Porque aprendimos que son diferentes exámenes, ¿verdad? So, the first thing that you need is knowledge of the test, okay? This is going to help you, right? Entender qué es el examen, las secciones, el contenido, right? Uh, las instrucciones que voy a ver en el, exa el examen. So that's going to help you, right? Eso me va a quitar el nervio y el miedo. Uh, skills, primary skills, okay? Primary skills that you need for this test are reading, listening, speaking, and writing, okay? So vamos a tratar de enfocar, darle un enfoque eh, primera semana, segunda semana, tercera semana, cuarta semana, okay? That's the course, all right? So we're going to do reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Secondary skills, um, son secundarios porque te pueden ayudar en el examen, right? Pero no es, no, el examen no es un examen de gramática, right? Pero la gramática te ayuda definitivamente, right? Te va a ayudar en la parte de writing. Spelling, right? To write the words correctly. Uh, and then we have some academic skills, right? This academic skills, ustedes ya que han estado en la universidad, Ustedes ya saben que se les enseña mucho esto, right? Summarizing, skimming and scanning. Ahora vamos a ver esto, skimming and scanning. And note-taking skills, all right? Uh, positive attitude is going to help you, right? Una actitud positiva for the test. And try to use all the resources that are available, okay? Hay muchos recursos, right? Ahí estábamos hablando, um, applications and the telephone, Apps, uh, YouTube has tests, many, many tests. Estaba viendo ahí exámenes, un gran cantidad de exámenes de TOEFL in YouTube that you can see and you can look at. Um, ahorita enfoquen en la parte de reading, right? Que es lo que estamos haciendo ahora. Um, también pueden ver websites, uh, tienen este curso, hay un libro también, hay muchos recursos. All right, that you can look at free. All right, so this is going to help us for the test, right? All right, so this is this is the goal of this course. All right, I have a video here. I'm going to play it so that you guys can get a picture of the, the test. Before you take your TOEFL IBT test, make sure you understand how it is structured. The test has four sections, reading, listening, speaking, and writing, and takes about three hours. First is the reading section. It has three academic reading passages, each with 10 multiple choice questions. Next is the listening section. It has five listening passages. Three are academic lectures with six questions each, and two are campus conversations with five questions each. Your test may include additional unscored questions for reading or listening, but never both. Then there is a 10 minute break. After the break is the speaking section, there are four tasks, and you speak your responses into the headset microphone. Last is the writing section, which has two essays that you type into the computer. All four sections use real academic content, so you can prove you are ready for the English language demands of a university. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So, uh, I want to answer any questions. El video bien rápido, right? Pero please, if you have any questions, tell me. Uh, let's look at the, the four sections, right? Las cuatro secciones. Reading, listening, speaking, and writing, right? Approximately, it's gonna take you three hours to complete the test, okay? All right, so let's look at the reading section, right? Nos estaba diciendo que son three essays with 10 questions each, okay? Three, essay, eh, three passages with 10 questions each. Entonces, ¿cuántas preguntas hay en la parte de reading? Total. 30. 30, correct, Th correct. 30, okay? So you're going to have 10 questions for each passage, right? Now, hay otro, otra versión de este examen que no son three passages, sino que son cinco passages, okay? Y ca cada passage tiene un total de seis preguntas. Entonces, ¿sería cuántas? Treinta. Okay. So, no sé cuál versión ustedes van a tomar, porque ahí el examen, ¿verdad? 
pueden tomar esta que tiene three passages with ten questions each. O puedan que les salga cinco pasajes, pero son más cortos. Solo que tienen seis preguntas cada una. ¿Ok? So, ahí puede variar. ¿Ok? All right. ¿Preguntas? ¿Questions? ¿Acerca de eso? ¿Questions? All right. Very good. Ok. And then, next, the other section was the listening section. ¿Ok? You have three different exercises or passages with six questions each, okay? Uh, this is th uh, three conversations, right? No, no son conversa conversaciones, perdón, son lectures, okay? Es decir, un profesor hablando, right? o alguien dando una, una, una lección, okay? So you have, sería, sorry, sería three times six, ¿Cuántas preguntas en total? 18, right? You have 18. And then you have two conversations. Como si fueran dos personas en una universidad hablando. Do, dos amigos, dos compañeros hablando. Okay? And I think this one is five questions each, creo. Right? So sería a total of 10 questions. Okay? So en la parte de listening, ¿cuántas preguntas son en total? 18. No, 18. 28. 28. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. Right? So serían estas y estas. Okay? La parte de listening for the test. Okay? Preguntas, questions for the listening section? Okay? Obviamente ya vamos a ver algunos ejemplares, right? Now, aquí había una sección que decía una de unscored questions. ¿Qué entendieron con esa sección, esa parte? Unscored questions. ¿Qué entendieron ahí? We don't earn, we don't earn scores. Correct. Things on question. Correct. No points, right? You don't you don't earn points. But mm -hmm. why entonces por qué están ahí? Why why are these questions there? They are there because los creadores del examen, ellos hacen eh, diferentes pruebas con diferentes preguntas. Okay? Eso está ahí para el beneficio de los creadores del examen, no para ustedes. <laughs> right? Now, the problem is, the problem is, que tú no vas a saber cuáles son unscored questions. Tú tienes que hacer el examen completo, all right? So, no van a saber cuáles son un, unscored questions. All right? Preguntas ahí, questions? All right. Uh, let's see. The next section is the speaking section. ¿Entendieron la speaking section? Okay, there's going to be four recordings that you're going to do. Ustedes van a grabar cuatro conversaciones suyas. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to look at the speaking section. Ya vamos a ver ejemplares de todo esto. Ahorita solo quiero que sepan que está en el examen. All right, uh, so you're going to do four speaking tasks. And then finally, the writing section. ¿Qué entendieron allí for the writing section? Right now, here for the writing section, okay. Quiero lo, prim lo primero, quiero que vean que va a ser typing, typing test, okay. Um, so, van a usar la computadora, right? Si están haciendo el internet based test. Um, also, you have to do two essays, right? Two essays, right? ¿Qué quiere decir essay? What is the word essay? Remember, yesterday we talked about it. So, aquí va a haber un essay y aquí va a haber un essay. Total, two essays. Essay es un ensayo, prácticamente, right? Van a escribir un ensayo, an essay. Uh, you're going to write two, two essays for the writing part. All right, very good. So, let me go to the next section. Entonces, ¿cuánto tiempo me voy, me voy a 
tardar en todo. Bueno, depende, right? Reading section is going to be 60 to 80 minutes. The listening section, 60 to 90 minutes. There's going to be a 10 minute break. And then the speaking section, 20 minutes. And the writing section, 50 minutes. Más o menos así está. Okay. Right. Now, hay otras versiones de este examen, right? Que ustedes pueden tomar. Creo que Juan nos estaba comentando que él tomó uno en el Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, ¿verdad? Esa versión es una versión corta. Solo incluye reading and listening. Okay. Ahí depende los requisitos y para qué lo quieren y, y etcétera, right? Very good. Uh, pero para este curso vamos a ver todo. Reading, listening, speaking, and writing. All right. Questions? Questions? Preguntas hasta ahí? Uh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. Uh, yesterday, uh, I didn't hear uh, how long it's going to take the, the course. The course is four weeks. This course is four uh, weeks. Four weeks, okay. Mm -hmm. So you. every week we'll focus, week number one, we'll focus on reading. Week number two, we'll focus on listening. Week number three, speaking. And week number four, on writing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Very good. Y creo que hay otros módulos también. You got module one, two, three. I think it's three modules, okay? So you can, you can do it now. The important thing here, right, is lo que vamos a ver ahora, the test strategies, what we're going to see today, okay? So the That's test nice. strategies are going to help you to be able to improve your score. All right, questions, preguntas hasta acá? All right, very good. Hey, solo veo 11, ayer teníamos 20, <laughs> what happened? Tuvieron <laughs> miedo. Like, like, that's it. I don't want to do it. Okay, very good. Let's learn something, okay? Let's learn another a test skill. This is going to be very important, um, and you can use it for different tests. No solamente por este examen. You can use it for different tests. All right, very good. Um, all right. Ayer vimos type of questions, right? The different type of questions that are going to be in the test, right? Estamos en la parte de reading right now, okay? No estamos en listening, no estamos en la parte de writing, estamos en la parte de reading, reading. All right, so question number one, um, negative factual questions, remember this? Ese tipo de preguntas, ayer las vimos. Negative factual questions, voy a reconocerlas porque van a tener esta palabra, except, okay? Right? ¿Qué significa this type of question? ¿Qué puede entender cuando vea esta palabra? Except, hay otra palabra también que es otra keyword, when you see the word not, okay? So, when you see this, except, or the word not, significa de que hay tres de estas respuestas que sí están en el pasaje, okay? For example, right? Digamos que estas tres están acá. Pero esta no. Entonces, esta sería mi respuesta. Okay? Very good. So, a, a negative factual question is, I am looking for the answer that is not in the passage. Okay? Very good. Questions? All right. Si tienen preguntas, me paran, all right? Anyone? Okay, another type of question that we saw, right? Y aquí vimos otros ejemplos. Est estos recortes son del examen en sí, okay? So uh, here's another example, right? Look at the question. According to paragraph number four, all of the following statements about the Sumerian economist system are true, except. Entonces, hay tres que sí están en el pasaje. Hay una que no. Yo estoy buscando la que no está, right? Very good. Eso sería negative factual questions. All right. Remember, when you see the word except or all but or true or false or la palabra not, <coughs> be careful. Be careful with that. Okay. Remember, three of the answers match the information in the article. You're looking for the answer that is not related to the passage, right? Decir la que no tiene nada que ver con lo que yo leí. Okay. Very good. So that is negative factual questions, right? Today we're going to look at scheming and scanning, okay? This is a very important uh, skill 
that you have to know, you have to be able to use, right? In the reading section, le va a salvar la vida, le va a ahorrar mucho tiempo, le va a quitar mucho estrés. Si ustedes pueden manejar esto bien, skimming and scanning, okay? No solamente para este examen, el TOEFL, sino el TOEIC, casas and different tests that you can do. All right, very good. Skimming and scanning. Okay. Skimming and scanning, right? A skimming and scanning helps you find information easily and quickly. It is a really useful skill to have and will help you answer comprehension questions. Okay. So what is skimming? Skimming is when you read through a piece of writing quickly to see what it is about. Okay. De qué se trata? I just want to know what it's about. Okay. What is the main idea? In English, esta palabra, eh, recuérdense esto, main idea, right? What is the principal idea of the passage? So scheming is looking for the main idea, all right? Ya vamos a ver dónde la puedo encontrar, etc. Scanning is when you scan the passage with your eyes to find answers to questions, okay? And also scanning, you're looking for key words, palabras clave, palabras que resaltan in the passage, okay? So scanning is more about details, okay? All right. So scheming is you're looking for the main idea. You want to know what the passage is about. Scanning, you're looking for key words and details. Ya vamos a hacer ejemplos y vamos a hacer prácticas para que ustedes lo puedan entender mejor. Okay, questions about scheming and scanning? Questions? All right. So let's look at an example. Okay, estos son recortes directamente de un examen. All right. Um, let's look at reading paragraph number one. For example, it says, now, the first thing that I might do is what? ¿Qué es lo primero que voy, a, que voy a hacer aquí? ¿Voy a leer todo el artículo de un solo? No, Read the right? question first. Read the question first. Very good, Wilfredo. I'm going to read the question first, right? Now, I want you to look at the question, right? I have some information here in the question. Transcendent, <clears throat> transcendentist, all right? That's Very good. Transcendent. Transcendentalist, right, very, very good, ahí está. Now, I don't know what this is, right? Aquí estoy perdido, I don't know what it is, but I know one thing. The question se trata de esto, right? Eso es lo que sí sé. The question is focused on that. Now, let's look at the question there. What did the transcendentalist do? Very good, now. For scheming, recuerden, estamos usando ahorita, solo estamos, no vamos a responder, enfocarnos en responder la pregunta, sino en aprender el skill de scheming and scanning. So, scheming is looking for the main idea, right? Yeah, so, right. ¿dónde encuentro la main idea? Usually, where do I find the main idea in a passage? En el principio, at the beginning, in the middle or at the end? Yeah, at the beginning. At the, the beginning. beginning. Very good. From the beginning it's usually, to the first period. It's usually the first sentence, right? Beginning mm -hmm. in the 1820s, a new intellectual movement known as, ahí está mi palabra. That's Very good. Began to grow in the Northeast. In this context, in this context, to transcend means, aquí me están dando una definición, it means to go beyond the ordinary sensory world, to grasp personal insight and gain appreciation of a deeper reality, blah, 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 blah. Now here, look, aquí está mi palabra, right? Now, ahorita solo quiero ver de qué se trata este artículo. It's going to talk about what? Transcendentalism. That's going to be my passage. Right? ¿Y qué significa? Aquí tengo la definición. So no tengo que saber absolutamente nada de este tema. 
Aquí está todo. Okay? So, scheming, I'm looking for the main idea. Okay? Where is my main idea? It's going to be usually in the first or second sentence of the paragraph. All right? Hasta allí. Hasta allí. Ya después vamos a hacer scanning, que nos va a ayudar más. Pero ahorita solo vamos a hacer scheming. Okay? Looking for the main idea. All right? Let's look at another example. Example B. Let's look at this passage. I'm going to give you, le voy a dar un minuto, so that you can find the main idea of this passage. No, re, no, no se enfoquen en responder la pregunta, sino solo buscar la main idea. We're doing skimming right now. What is the main idea of this passage? What is the passage about? All right, le voy a dar un minuto. Okay, very good. So, question, right? Now, the question here has a name of a person, Margaret Fuller. Okay, so me está hablando de una persona, right? Margaret Fuller. ¿Dónde está esa persona? It's in the first sentence, right there, Margaret Fuller. Okay, Margaret Fuller, leading transcendentalist. Okay, so it's an autobiography. It's going to talk about this person. Okay. Who is this person? She's a leading transcendentalist and advocate for women's equality. Okay? So es como una activista de derechos humanos, algo así, la persona, right? She is fighting for women's rights. All right, that's it. That's it. Ya no tengo que hacer nada más. I found the main idea. Okay? Skimming. We're only doing skimming right now. Okay, let's go to the next example. Skimming, find the main idea. What is the main idea in the passage, okay? I'm going to give you, le voy a dar 30 segundos so you guys can find the, the main idea. No estamos respondiendo la pregunta, sino que solo buscando the main idea. We're doing skimming right now. Okay, stop. What is the article about? What is the main idea of the passage? What is the main idea? The principal idea, la idea principal. What is the main idea of the passage? The food crisis. Food crisis, crisis. Ahí. right there, right? Stop right there, food crisis, All right? Very good, that's it, All right, facile. Usually, it's in the main. So look, aquí podemos ver una cosa, right? My question is food crisis. My main idea is food crisis, right? So esto confirma esto, right? This confirms this, all right? Excellent, very good. Okay, so right now, we are only skimming, right? Let's look at one more example for skimming. Okay? I, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to find out the main idea. 30 segundos, 30 seconds, go.
Okay, very good. What is the main idea of this passage? Skimming. So what is the main idea? I don't know how to say it, but I think it's hydroculture. Mm -hmm. Very good, hydroculture, right? Hydro and you can uh, you can understand a little bit of what hydro hydroculture is about from the first sentence. What do you think hydroculture is? For me, it's one of the solutions that the other. Uh, was talking about in the fair, in the in the other in the in the other one. Mm, okay, okay, very good. Very Hydro, good. Hydroculture is the method of hydroponics. Very good. So, in the definition, fácil, simple, growing plants in water. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. Growing plants in water. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is hydroculture. Right. Now, hydroponics, right? Que es Hicimos de lo que se trata la pregunta, right? Uh -huh. It's a well-known method of hydroculture. Es como un submétodo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, very good. I say, excellent. Good job. All right, so this is an example of skimming. I am understanding the main idea. ¿Leímos todo el, 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 el pasaje? No. Solo le di 30 segundos, en algunos casos 15 segundos. All right, so we don't have to read everything, okay? All right, very good. So sometimes, eh, aquí le doy un tip. Sometimes the meaning, right? For example, aquí tengo una palabra que yo no conozco. Yo no entiendo, no sé nada de esa palabra. But the meaning is usually in the sentence, right? That's la right. Oras, la misma oración me da... Lo que significa, no necesito un dictionary, right? No dictionary. All right, excellent, good job. Okay, questions, preguntas? Skimming? Do you guys have any questions? All right, very good. So now let's look at the other skill. ¿Cómo se llama el otro? The other skill? Scanning. 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 Skimming and scanning. Skimming okay. and scanning. Very good. So skimming, scanning. Skimming means to quickly gain an overview. Right? Un vistazo, un vistazo así de lejos. Okay? And scanning is looking for specific information. Okay? Very good. So let's look at the the uh, skill of scanning now. Now, here I have a tip for you, right? For scanning, you have to read the questions so you can know what you're looking for, right? A scanning es ponerme, ¿cómo se llama? Lo que usan los detectives, una lupa, ¿va? ¿Qué se llama? All right, con scanning, están bus buscando así información con, como si estuvieran buscando algo con una lupa. Right? So, mm -hmm. you have to read yeah. the question. Read the question first, right? Si no voy a estar buscando algo que no sé de qué se trata la pregunta, right? What did the transcendentalist do? All right, so look at the question. Is the question in the present or in the past? The question is in the past. Aquí está el verbo auxiliar did. So it's in the past, okay? So everything in this article is talking about past. So it's something historical. All right, so I am looking for the transcendentalist. Okay, un grupo de personas. And I'm looking for do. ¿Qué quiere decir el verbo do? Hacer. Hacer. Hacer, right? No es el verb to be, right? Ese es el verbo ser. Pero hacer is do. Right, so I'm looking for basically actions, right? Yeah, right. I'm looking for actions, right? Ahora, ya entendiendo eso, ahora puedo hacer el scanning. Okay, so look at the information here. All right, le voy a dar a ustedes 30 segundos para responder. Ahora sí pueden responder la pregunta.
Okay. All right, very good. Let's look at the question now. What did the transcendentalists do? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la opción correcta para ustedes? A, B, C, or D? What do D, you think? No. No te escucho, Juan. Eh, hay un poco de interferencia. La conexión está un poco mal. Ok. All right, so let's look here, right? Primero lo que voy a hacer es scanning, right? So I'm going to go and look for actions. They reacted against the age they lived in where people were encouraged to act the same yeah, as others and argued for greater individualism yeah. against conformity, yeah. right? Now, they sell it. Aquí tengo el último, right? Como la opinión de la del autor, celebration of the uniqueness of individual feelings, all right? So what do they do? <clears throat> Let's read the, 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 the answers that I have, right? A, they overreacted towards those who acted the same as everyone else. They overreacted overreact towards those who acted the same as everyone else. No, esto no está en el artículo, ¿verdad? No, no, there is no. No hay nada así. No. Esto más es como una opinión de, de alguien aquí, ¿verdad? No es algo que está ahí. Es como algo que es como una opinión <coughs> del, de, la, de la persona aquí. B, they protested the government for greater nonconformity. Yes. ¿Dónde está eso? Where, yeah, where is that they, one? They reacted. They, they reacted, reacted. Uh-huh. And also for greater uh, non-conformity. Um, at the end of the sentence, against conformity. Okay. They, against conformity. Okay. All right. Uh, did they protest? protest? No. They celebrated yeah. the leasing. Okay. They see. protested. Did they protest against the government? Nope. No, no dice específicamente no. eso, ¿verdad? Okay, so la yeah, podemos dejar ahí como, dejémosla ahí como una no, opción. We don't have it. Well, all right, let's look. Let's see if there's a better option. All right. C, they celebrated individualism and nonconformity. Yes. Yeah, okay. Very good. Puede ser, puede ser. La vamos a dejar ahí como una opción. D, they, they wrote articles in favor of a more peaceful American culture. Mm, do you see that? No. No. Pusieron a escribir libros? No, right? So no. it's between, I can say it's between no. B and C. And C. Right? But B is making yeah. like an opinion. They protested. Doesn't really say it, right? No hay mención de protesta, right? They didn't really react against the government. Okay? C, they celebrated individualism. And nonconformity. Yep. Okay, so I think that correct answer. The direction is, of unique use. Mm -hmm. The correct mm -hmm. answer, C. C. Right? Very good. Now, do you see that sometimes you have to read all the questions? Eso sí. Las, las opciones que dan algunas son como opiniones, right? For example, A. They overreacted towards those who acted the same as everyone else. Eso es más como una opinión. Mm -hmm. right? B, yeah, they protested this, against the government. Pueda que sí, pero no lo dice. B, they, C, they celebrated individualism and nonconformity. Mm -hmm. Eso sí está ahí. D, they wrote articles in favor of a, of a more peaceful American culture. Now, me imagino que tal vez sí, porque eran un movimiento, ¿verdad? Tal vez ellos escribieron allí un blog o un, right? Pero no nos dice el artículo. Ya esto es como una opinión. Esto también. The correct answer is C. C. All right. Very good. Right? Para que se den cuenta cómo son las preguntas. Son tricky, right? Difficult yeah. questions. Yeah, they're difficult. They, they add extra information. Yes, yes, very good one. They add extra information that is really not there. Now, 
se puede inducir, like, you know, you can like, ah, oh, sí, eso tiene sentido, right? But the, but the information is not there, okay? Very good. Let's do another example of scanning, right? Uh, B, okay, Ex scanning, example B. Um, now let's read the question first, right? For scanning, we're going to read the question first. What can be inferred about Margaret Fuller from the information in paragraph six? Now, here I have a very important word. ¿Qué quiere decir esta palabra? Infer. What is this? ¿Qué quiere decir infer? All right. Inferred es sacar una conclusión mía, propia. Referente. Referente a lo que está allí. Right? So infer es sacar... Referente a Margaret Fuller. Ajá, eso. Entonces voy a, aquí voy a sacar una opinión mía. ¿Ok? Es sacar una opinión propia. Espero mm -hmm. que esté de acuerdo con el artículo, right? All right, very good. So what can be inferred about Margaret Fuller from the information in paragraph six, right? For example, Margaret Fuller is also known as a prominence, uh, came to prominence as a leading transcendentalist an advocate for women's equality. So she fought for women's rights. Right. Right? She was a friend of Emerson Theory and other intellectuals of her day. She was a, because she was a woman, she could not attend Harvard. It was a male institution for undergraduate students until 1973. However, she later granted the use of a library there because of her, her towering intellectual intellect. In 1840, she became editor of the, of the Dial, a transcendentalist journal, and she later found employment as a book reviewer of the New York Tribune newspaper, okay? In 1850, she died at the age of 40 in a shipwreck of Fire Island, New York. Now, ¿cuáles palabras resaltan? Okay. Leading. Intellectual. Uh, she was a... Uh, intellect so she was very smart okay she became editor Ese era su trabajo, su profesión. she was an editor right then she became a book reviewer okay and she died <laughs> la palabra mm -hmm. Esa resalta para mí. all right very good so let's look at the options that i have here okay a she was the most famous transcendentalist of her time Maybe, right? Could Maybe. Be. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. It says a prominence. Prominence significa tener un, un, un privilegio como una alto rango, right? Prominence. Uh, prominence. It says she was a leading transcendentalist, mm -hmm. right? No que ella fue la mejor transcendentalist o la más famosa, sino que she was a leading transcendentalist. Uh, B, she attended Harvard University, even though women were not allowed at that time. No. No, no because say she could not. She fought for that. Very good. C. So esta definitivamente no, right? C. She helped us. She held positions that most women did not in her time. No. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Maybe. They held positions okay. most women in her time. Yes. All right. So we're going to put a question there. Okay. D, she only reviewed books that were for of interest to her while at the New York Tribune. Esto no, hay nada que ver. Esto no. No. Right? So it's between A and B. Which one do you think? Letter A. No, C. That could be C. Right? This one, A, says she was the most famous. Pero si ustedes ven aquí, había otra persona. She was a friend yes. of Emerson and Tirolo. And Tirolo. And other intellectuals. And other intellectuals of her day. Okay. So she yes. was not yes. the most famous. Right? También. Yeah. Siendo mujer, tal vez, tal, siendo mujer, tal vez en, ese, en esa época no era la más famosa persona en esa, en esa área. She held positions that most women did not over time. Yeah, puede ser. Okay. So you can go with letter C, okay? Do you see? 
This question is difficult because it's inferred. Es decir, usted tiene que sacar la opinión. Okay. Pero su opinión tiene que estar de acuerdo con el artículo. Right? That's right. That's right. All right. Excellent. So this is an example of scanning. Let's look at, we got two more, two more. Two more examples of scanning, okay? Let's look at example C. Let's read the question first, right? Primero pregunta, what does the author say about the food crisis? All right? So here I have to look for the author, okay? ¿Cuál es el punto de vista del autor? Right? Esta no es opinión de nadie, sino el punto de vista. The world is in the middle of the food crisis, okay? Severity, food crisis, okay? Very good. The roots of the crisis are diverse. So hay varias razones, right? Why we are in a food crisis. But there are two, hey, este número me suena. So there are two reasons, primary factors, okay? So el autor, ahorita yo sé que nos va a dar dos puntos de vista o dos razones. Okay? Number one, first, changing weather. Okay? Yo hasta ahí voy a, voy a, voy a encontrar la otra. Voy a seguir. Second, many farmers have found that they can get better returns growing biofuels and raising than raising crops. Okay, so ahí está mi primera razón. Number one, number two. Okay. So let's look at the answer, the, the options. A, it could be solved by limiting the global production and use of biofuels, food crisis. Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay, voy a dejar esa ahí pendiente. B, it's cost. Causes are related to a reduction in farms growing crops. No, Maybe. No. C, its main effect is that major agricultural regions have become less fertile. Maybe. Maybe. D, it has already had a major impact. Alguien ahí se puede apagar su micrófono, please? Hey, Wilfredo? Excuse me? Te voy a poner en mute. All right, D, it has already had a major impact on the health and world's population. Okay, so let's look here. So I'm going to do some skimming. So voy a regresar a first, right? Changing weather patterns and extreme weather events. Simply put, a number of previous produ productive agricultural regions are no longer as fertile as they once were because of the weather. So, su primera opinión is the weather. The weather is the problem. And number two, many farmers have found that they can, they can get a better return by growing biofuels than raising crops, right? What is biofuels? Biofuels. Es como cuando sacan... Eh, gasolina del, de, la, 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 de la caña de azúcar, sacan gasolina del, del maíz, etc. Okay, those are biofuels, right? So there's more money for biofuels than raising crops, okay? So which one do you think? Tenemos que empezar a eliminar, right? So let's eliminate some answers. It could be solved by limiting global production of use of biofuels. No, sería contraproducente, right? A, sería contraproducente, es decir, si el problema es biofuels. Está diciendo que ese es un problema, okay? So A, no, definitely not. B, it's cause, causes, food crisis, causes are related to a reduction in farms growing crops, okay? Puede ser. C, its main effects is that major agricultural regions have become fertile, less fertile. Okay. What is said? D, it has already had a major impact on the health of the world's population. 
¿Mm? No, no ha dicho nada de populations. Sería entre B y C. B y C. Ok. Now here, look, the author, the answer is causes. Ok. ¿Está hablando de las causas él en el artículo? ¿O está hablando de los efectos? ¿Mm? Which one? Está hablando de las causas, right? So my answer is B. B. Okay. Tienen que tener cuidado porque algunas de las opciones suenan bonitas, ¿va? Suena que estaban ahí. So you have to be careful. Read the questions and read the answers first. Right? Hay una palabra clave aquí. Causes. Causas. ¿Está hablando de causas él? Sí, está hablando de las causas. ¿Está hablando de los efectos? ¿O del efecto primordial? No, no está hablando de eso. Está hablando de causas. Causes. All right, so be careful. Right? The questions are difficult. Yes. Por eso solamente hay tres pasajes. <laughs> right? So you have more time to, to actually focus. All right? Uh, the, eh, creo que eran cuántos minutos eh, the reading section eh, entre 60 y 90 minutos right so tiene bastante tiempo all right very good let's do another one the last one scanning cuánto tiempo all right nos quedan ocho minutos let's do scanning okay what does the author say about hydroponics very good now here I have the word hydroculture Okay, but dijimos que hydroculture was growing plants in the water, right? Creciendo plantas en el agua. But there was one word, hydroponics. Esa sí estaba aquí. Entonces tengo que enfocarme en hydroculture or hydroponics. ¿En cuál me voy a enfocar? En la segunda, ¿verdad? En la que tiene que ver con la pregunta, right? So, olvídense de eso. No me voy a enfocar en esto. Esto me ayudó solo para entender de qué se trataba. But now hydroponics, right? It's a method of hydroculture, okay? Pero todavía no entiendo qué es hydroponics. All right? It has the significant potential to reduce the impact of food crisis by allowing farmers to produce large quantities of food in a cost-effective way. In a typical hydroponic system, ahora viene la explicación de cómo es, qué fun cómo funciona. Crops are grown indoors in controlled environments. All right, there you go. Hydroponics, right? Es como crecer, no han visto esos shows así que enseñan que la gente crece marihuana en la casa <laughs> bajo la luz, right? Exactamente. Es crecer plantas bajo luz artificial, right? Plants grow in containers filled with water and nutrients that they need to thrive. Nutrients vary depending on the crops, blah, 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 blah. A light source provides the energy the sun would usually deliver. So is growing crops, palabra clave, indoor, right? Indoors. Indoors. All right, so let's look at the, uh, the options. What does the author say about hydroponics? The food crisis will be greater without food from hydroponics farms. No, no, no sé. Ese es un, suena como una opinión, algo que no ha dicho. Okay. B, food that has been grown hydroponically costs less than all other food. Maybe. No, that's not it, so. Right? Pero no lo ha dicho específicamente, right? C, the goal of hydroponics farm is to reduce, to produce food in a sustainable way. Mm. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. Yes. Right. It can be. Cost yeah. effective way. Sustainable. Aquí está la palabra sustainable. Y aquí está mm -hmm. sustainable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And cost. D. Hydroponically way. grown plants need a source of water, energy, and food. Yeah. Puede well ser. So which one do you think? It's more appropriate. A. No. Definitely. B, food that has been grown hydroponically costs less than all other food. 
Mm, no. I don't know, porque no, no habló del precio del producto, ¿verdad? Solo dijo que era más barato crecerlo. Cost effective. C, the goal of hydroponics farms is to produce food in a sustainable way. Aquí está. D, hydroponically grown plants need a source of water, energy, and food. Okay. Uh, I think the correct answer is C. C. Letter C. Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. So, leí todo. No, no, no leí todo, right? What am I using? I'm using scanning. I'm using scanning I'm and looking for keywords, right? Keywords. Indoors. Sustainable. Cost effective. Todas estas son palabras claves, right? Light source. Hydroponic systems. Todas estas son palabras claves. All right. Scanning. Scanning. All right. Very good. Questions for this section? Let me see. Creo que le voy a mandar. Let me see. Oh, no. To wrap it up, okay? To finish. Scheming. Is basically looking for the main idea, right? Uh, also, I'm learning what is a, the article is about. I'm not looking for details in skimming. No estoy buscando detalles, right? I'm just looking for the main idea. Where do I find it? I usually find it at the beginning, right? Scanning. Ahí sí estoy buscando detalles, facts, names, numbers, supporting details. Okay. Is usually where inside the passage now normally the author's opinion is at the end of the passage okay all right very good so this is a difference between skinning and scanning let me see if i have okay le voy a mandar esta en whatsapp tengo creo que tengo tres no dos le voy a mandar dos para que ustedes los puedan eh, probar okay si quieren mar si quieren ver Otras pruebas de estas pueden ingresar en YouTube, poner TOEFL Reading Test y les van a salir un gran montón de estas. Okay. All right. So practice. Uh, look at uh, look at some of these. Yo le voy a mandar estas dos. Look at them. Do skimming and scanning. Y finalmente respondan la pregunta. But first, do skimming and then scanning and then answer the question okay el skimming and scanning le va a ahorrar mucho tiempo y le va a crear una confianza para decidir cuál es la respuesta correcta all right very good questions okay eh, si ustedes quieren ver pues las sesiones les mandé el link que es nuestra lista de reproducción de youtube ahí está Y ustedes pueden ver eh, la presentación otra vez si tienen alguna pregunta, ¿verdad? si quieren repasar algo. All right. Pueden ahí ver las presentaciones en YouTube. Ok. Very good. Eh, questions? Questions? No. Yeah, okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. um, I wanted to know if which, which of those of those ones do you think is better? What, skimming and scanning? Yeah. It both, it tiene que hacer los dos. Uh, because skimming is gonna help you understand what the passage is about. But scanning mm -hmm. is going to help you answer the question. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. got it. You have to do both. All right, very good. I'll see you tomorrow then guys. All right, take care, have a good night. All right. All right, okay. thank you. Have a good night. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night.